and suddenly the downforce just went off the clock and it was like, hang on a minute, we've discovered something here. They didn't quite know what it was. And Mario famously, the Type 78, well, I'll tell you, it's like it's painted to the road. When ground effect arrived, Team Lotus had an unfair advantage. Maximum downforce, minimum drag was what designers kind of went to bed dreaming of and um, it proved to be the winning ingredient. Ground effect actually is a term that's, that's used on airplanes and it's in, in relation to the buoyancy that a, that a wing experiences when it gets near to the ground. Team Lotus had a reputation for innovation and a reputation for working harder than any other team, even when they were winning. They were always there until midnight and, and beyond. And that was very much driven by my father. He, he was always looking forward. And if he'd gain an advantage, he'd be thinking, right, well, how can I gain more advantage? Ground effects came about from a root and branch review that my father undertook of Formula One car design. And he got a clean sheet of paper, went back to basics. A 29 page dossier was delivered to the Team Lotus engineers, including Tony Rudd and Peter Wright. And various aspects of design were considered, in particular aerodynamics. Peter Wright was charged with that aspect and was sent off to Imperial College Wind Tunnel. And the end result was ground effect and a step change in Formula One design. So Peter was working on, on his um, aerofoil-shaped um, side pods and almost by accident noticed that towards the end of the day when everything was getting a little bit hot, the glue and the plasticine holding this rather rudimentary model together, as the aerodynamic side pods sank to the, um, the floor of the, of the wind tunnel, suddenly the, the downfall seemed to go up. And, and they couldn't quite work out what was going on. And then they started trying to hold the side pods up with little bits of wire, and that didn't work terribly well. And then they actually put some bits of card along the edge of the, the side pods, which went all the way down to the floor of the, the wind tunnel. And suddenly the downforce just went off the clock. And it was like, hang on a minute, we've discovered something here. They didn't quite know what it was. What's happening with a racing car is more to do with the Bernoulli principle. When fluid flows through a constriction, it has to speed up and there is a consequent reduction in pressure. The most vital part of ground effect in racing cars is the skirts. The air passing through this restriction has to speed up, the pressure drops, and with the all-important side skirts acting as a seal between the high-pressure air outside the car and the low-pressure air under the car, then suddenly you've got a lot of low pressure under the car for very little drag, hence a big increase in performance. So the skirts were key, and to begin with, the skirts on the Type 78 you know, weren't that effective. But my father and Peter Wright realised skirts were the key, and they just kept going until they got it right. Halfway through the season, they came up with um, the parallelogram skirt system with ceramic rubbing strips on the bottom. Suddenly it started working, and they found a second lap just like that. And from then on, the Type 78, and then the much more sophisticated Type 79, Team Lotus had a massive advantage. For the drivers, ground effect really was everything they ever wanted. Um, lots of downforce, lots of grip, with very little drag. So they were still flat out down the straights. And they came to the corners and they could go significantly quicker. When uh, the team went with Gunnar Nielsen to Snetterton, the local circuit, for the first time with the 78, with the skirts, which really worked, um, Gunnar came back to the pits and his eyes were out on stalks and said, my God, this is fantastic. He was a second a lap quicker and he said, I'm, I'm a metre from the curb. You know, he wasn't even trying. It was just night and day. Um, and Mario famously, um, the Type 78, well, I'll tell you, it's like it's painted to the road. It was like WWF wrestling. There was a show, yeah. not just what happened on the circuit, but afterwards. I mean, I've been insulted by Alan Menu. I've been strangled by Ricard Rydell. <laughs> <laughs>